Buenas a todos. Primero, gracias por, por querer estar aquí. Rafael Nadal, the resilient tennis star, has triumphed over injuries and obstacles in his career. However, he surprised everyone by withdrawing from the 2023 French Open, his beloved tournament. More shockingly, Nadal has now made a decision that leaves us wondering, is this game over for Nadal? Stay tuned to find out what is Nadal's decision about his future. At some point for me, the most important thing is come back home with the feeling that I give it my best. And for more than a decade, Nadal was one of the big three in men's tennis. He's been the world number one for 209 weeks. That's not all, though. He also has the record for the most consecutive weeks in the top 10 of the ATP rankings. From April 2005 to March 2023, a total of 912 weeks, he never fell out of the top 10 until he finally did. But how did he get to this point? For that, it's important to look at how 2022 panned out for him and why things started going south. In 2022, Rafael Nadal had a remarkable year filled with ups and downs both mentally and physically. After his 2021 season ended prematurely due to a foot injury, many doubted if the great champion's career was coming to an end. However, in January 2022, at the ATP 250 Melbourne Somerset, Nadal made a strong comeback to the tour. Nadal reached the final by defeating Emil Rusevori and won his 89th tour level title by beating Maxime Cressy. There you go. It is title 89. And what's been a glittering. It was a significant victory for Nadal, as it was his first win on a hard court in almost two years. The Australian Open brought more success for Nadal as he continued his winning streak. He secured his spot in the final against Daniel Medvedev. Despite being down two sets, Nadal showed incredible resilience and determination to mount a comeback and win the match after more than five hours on the court. After Djokovic, Nadal became the second man in the Open era to win the double career Grand Slam. After that, he kept winning at the Mexican Open, but stomach problems threw him off his game at Indian Wells, and he managed to come out on top against tough opponents until Taylor Fritz finally defeated him in his first loss of 2022. Things were starting to look a little unsteady when he didn't win a title during the clay court season. When he returned to the APT Tour at Madrid Masters, he secured a victory against David Goffin, but he was unable to defeat Carlos Alcaraz in the quarterfinals. Despite the uncertainties, Nadal proved his prowess at the French Open, a tournament he has dominated throughout his career. He battled through tough matches against Felix Alger Aliassim and Novak Djokovic, ultimately reaching the final. Facing Kasper Ruud, Nadal secured his 14th Roland Garros title and broke the record for the most slam singles titles with his 22nd win. Back then, things were looking great for him, and there was no sign of him retiring anytime soon. Mats Villander, the seven-time Grand Slam winner, even said that, We are witnessing sports history with Rafa. We thought it before, and now even more so. The grass court season brought mixed results for Nadal. He reached the quarterfinals of Wimbledon, but had to withdraw due to an abdominal tear. This would later prove fatal for his career. At that time, though, it ended his chances of achieving the calendar slam and paved the way for Nick Kyriagos to make his first slam final. Nadal's return after a six-week break at the Cincinnati Masters didn't go as planned as he suffered a loss to Borna Koric. However, he made a strong comeback at the US Open, reaching the fourth round. Up until Francis Tiafoe became the first player to defeat Nadal at a slam in 2022, he had never lost. This disappointing performance carried it over to the next year. Even in the past few months, Rafael has seemed like a ghost of his former self. At the 2023 Australian Open, Nadal was the defending champion, but Mackenzie McDonald beat him in straight sets in the second round. During the match, Nadal's hip pain was a big problem and he was treated for it the whole time. Nadal officially announced that he was pulling out of the Indian Wells and Miami Masters tournaments towards the end of February. He did it so he could heal from the injury he got at the Australian Open. And because of this, he fell out of the top 10 for the first time since 2005. This was the end of the longest run in the top 10 in the history of the ATP rankings. The organizers of the 2023 Monte Carlo Masters said that Nadal wanted to come back despite his illness, but he pulled out in April. Later, he also decided not to play in the French Open, so he missed the whole clay court season. Other factors also weigh into his decision to leave. 
Now that his longtime rival and friend Roger Federer has also retired, Nadal seems to have lost his enthusiasm for the sport. He did say that when Roger leaves the tour, yeah, an important part of my life is leaving too because of all the moments he has been next to or in front of me in important moments of my life. Then there's also the fact that he's a father now and will want to be more present in his child's life. Nadal didn't play in any tournaments while he and his wife Marie Pareo were waiting for the birth of their first child, but he was asked to return to the court right after his son's birth, leaving a career as demanding as being a professional tennis player might be the space he needs to be present in his son's life. On May 18, 2023, he finally decided to hold a press conference at his tennis academy in Majorca. Everyone was shocked. What could he possibly want to announce? Uh, three basic messages, that's why I am here today. There were so many theories and speculations, but they ended when Nadal finally shared his plans and his decision to not appear in the French Open this year and probably Wimbledon as well. Not able to, not going to be able to play in, in Roland Garros. As, as you know. It wasn't just about missing the Open though, but it's also the fact that he admitted to taking a long break from playing and training. The hip injury he sustained in January wasn't getting any better. That's why he intends to only play one last tour in 2024 if his body will let him, and then quit at the end of the year. He said that, I'll try to be 100% ready for next year, which I think will be the last year of my professional career. The 14-time French Open winner also wanted us to know that this is mainly because he hasn't been able to train better since his injury and doesn't at all feel prepared to play Roland Garros. His legacy at Roland Garros won't easily be forgotten, even with his decision to not play. The French veteran Nicolai Mahu even said that there's no way to comprehend how Nadal has won the title 14 times. I didn't make the decision, my body made the decision. To play Roland Garros is impossible, Nadal told reporters. This is also why he hasn't given any definitive answer about how long he plans on continuing to play tennis until retirement. His rough plan is to take a long break and hopefully return to play at the Olympics next year, but even that's still up in the air and depends on whether he heals. I don't know when I'm gonna be able to, to come back to the practice court, but I'm gonna stop. He confirmed that, I'll not establish a date for my return, I'll see how my body responds, and I'll take it from there. The French Open tournament responded to his decision by offering consolation. They wrote, Rafa, we can't imagine how hard this decision was. It looks like Nadal's taking his fate in stride, though. He's accepted the way things are. Uh, problems too many times uh, having to, to stop. But considering how competitive things are, with his time away, Nadal will fall out of the top 100 ATP rankings in the world, where he's been for the last two decades. Still, that isn't to say he wouldn't be welcomed if he ever decided to return. Nadal's always gracious, whether he wins or loses. Once the point starts, though, says Marie Carrillo, what he does is very simple. Yes, it is. Hit the ball, then hit it over and over and over again until you win the point. We've seen it for almost two decades, and even though some of his matches seem to last forever, it never gets old. The tennis champion is aware that he'd practically be starting over if he went back after a break, and if you look at how he says that he wants to win all four Grand Slams in 2024, it's obvious that he hasn't lost hope entirely yet. It's unclear how realistic some of his tennis ambitions will be now, but it might not be game over for Nadal just yet. It wouldn't be the first time he's made a comeback after an injury.